Hey there, it's Kim Kasparian. So glad to see you here. And welcome to day four, video four in our Create Consistent Cash Flow series. I'm Kim, like I said, I'm Kim Kasparian, known as the Success Genie, business coach to business owners who want to get off the hamster wheel of stress and struggle and on the train of consistent cash flow flexibility, and freedom. And if you've been following my series, today is day four. We've been having the conversation about how to get what you want right now without heavy lifting, without struggle, without adding more to your plate. In fact, I'm inviting you to take some things off. And I'm giving you the actual steps that I teach our coaching clients in our signature program, Accelerate, what to do, how to do it, to be able to create immediate cash flow in their business, consistent systems and structures that allows everyone to be served, but they get time to enjoy what they want to, and to really create a sustainable cash flow machine out of what you so successfully built out of nothing. So if you've been following me, you realize there are a few things that are causing your stress and it's really not your business right? It's your mindset. It's your lack of understanding of how do you create cash flow. So today it's going to be a quick, fun, and fast video about discerning the difference, discerning the difference between revenue, profit, cash flow, and your paycheck. And in my last video, I talked about one of the mistakes most every entrepreneur makes in their business at some point, and that's forgetting to give themselves a paycheck. And by not doing that, you screw up the whole cash flow game and it becomes a mess and you find, end up finding yourself, I call poaching the paycheck, just taking what you need, grab and go without considering how your cash flows and not always having enough for you and your business all at the same time. So here's how you are going to get out of that catch 22 situation. You are going to discern the difference and there is a difference between revenue cash flow, and it's a slight difference, and that's what might be screwing you up, revenue, cash flow, profit, and paycheck. Revenue, cash flow, profit, and paycheck. So I'm going to go through that through you quickly so you can understand and start looking at your business a little differently. Revenue is the total sum that your business brings in when you sell a product or service or take on clients. So if you charge, I don't know, $5,000 for your, your services or $5,000 per client or $1,000, whichever number you feel comfortable with, that's your revenue. That's your revenue. Some business owners, entrepreneurs make the mistake of thinking that's all yours. It's not. And this is where the problem comes in. When you create a business plan, when you create a cash flow route, roadmap, nine times out of 10, you're only thinking about what you need to succeed. Remember, even if you're a me, myself, and I model, you're still in business with two other people. The tax, aunties and uncles, and your business itself. Your business is actually its own entity. Just like the baby, the baby needs to be fed too. So when you make that $5,000 sale, that $1,000 sale, you are really dividing it between three entities. Three entities. The business, you, and the tax aunties and uncles. Just that alone, if you just take that in, think that through, your mind is going to go, whoa, I get it. So revenue. Just because you sold it doesn't mean the money's in your hand yet. You sold it, it's out the door. But if you offer terms, if you offer installments, that revenue doesn't flow right away. This is where it gets interesting. You sell something for $5,000, $10,000, $1,000, $50,000, but you might have to wait anywhere from 10 to 30 days. Depending on your business, it might be a 90-day cash flow cycle before you get any money, and you might not get it all up front. You may get it in installments. That's not in sync with your weekly payroll, your monthly mortgage, your monthly debt service. So just because you're focused on revenue and it's really doing well, 
doesn't always mean you've got healthy cash flow. And I think one of the examples I used in an early video was Circuit City, which is a company that you might remember that was absolutely fabulous. Customer service and quality products, OMG. And right after their biggest revenue quarter ever, they closed their doors forever and they had to go bankrupt because they had horrible cash flow. So when you're planning your roadmap, not only do I want you to focus on your revenue monthly, annually, I want you to think of what you need your monthly cash flow to look like. The actual cash you have in hand running through your business every single month. And that's why I asked you in the last video to create line items for everything in your life, not just your business, but your life, not just the things you want to focus on, not the minimums, not the survival you know, categories, but the total thing, how you really want to live your life and what funding do you need? Because not only are we going to create six figures in the next, you know, 90 days to 12 months, we also need to plan when that cash is going to flow through your bank account. Let me how, know how you're taking this in. And if your mind is going, yeah, I want to know, put it in the comments. So that's the difference between revenue and cash flow. Just because you're making it doesn't mean you have it in hand. And it doesn't matter what you, you sold, it's what you have in your hot little hands that you can do wonders with in your business. You can pay down debt. You can hire new team members if you need to. You can invest in your business, your education and technology. Whatever you need is right there in your cash flow. Now, profit and paycheck. Mm -hmm. I hear too many times business owners say, oh, I don't need a paycheck. Or worse, I can't afford to take a paycheck. Um, I don't know about you, but as an employee, I never worked for free. And neither should you. If you're working in your business, you should get paid. You should get paid. And the best way to pay yourself is either figure out what you need every week to show up 100% to your business and make that your salary and figure out how to create it or figure out how many hours the business needs you and pay yourself the same wage you'd pay somebody else if you had to step away from your business and you needed to hire a top-notch person if you wanted to hire a top-notch person. If you're the main salesperson of your business, find out what a top salesperson makes, give it to yourself. If you are like the back-end brilliance of your business and you had to hire somebody to run the back end of your business, how much would they want to give it, give your business their all? Pay that. That's your paycheck. Why? Because you're great? Because you own the business? No, because you are actually showing up as an employee. It's your right. No one in, at least in the United States, works for free and gets away with it. Okay. Now, profit is what I call your business owner's bonus. If you are running your company properly and or you have members, employees running your business profitably, they are making money for you, for them, the business, the tax aunties and uncles. And there's this thing left over called what I call, pro you call profit. I call your business owner's bonus aka mailbox money. And this is the amount of money that you can pocket legally and ethically, or you can choose to reinvest in your business. One of the biggest reasons why businesses don't grow, never mind beyond yourself, grow at all, is because we're too busy poaching money out of the business before it's ready to give it to us. You never have to beg for your paycheck. Your paycheck is part of doing business. And if you don't have enough for a paycheck, you really need to look at your pricing. Because if you're dealing with three clients or 30, you need enough money to pay yourself and make the money go round. So what I like about looking at your business this way, it stops thinking, thinking like that. You start realizing why you work so hard and don't have time or money for yourself. You're like, I get it. Oh my God. See how this starts to become fun? And it's okay if you don't know how you're going to raise your prices yet or like, how am I going to get more clients or, you know, what the exact steps are. I'm introducing you to the mindset that you need to get this done, okay? The mindset goes first, the how comes later. And I'm going to be teaching a full workshop in our Business Owners Growing to Seven Figures group later this month in December. And I'm going to give you more of the how-tos because you're going to bring all of this information to the class and I'm going to help you make sense out of it. 
and you're gonna walk away with a roadmap for 2022. And if you really need more help with a how, then I'm gonna invite you to look at Accelerate and see if you're a fit to join us and get your business rocking and rolling right out of the gate in January. So this is my video. Let me know how you liked it. More importantly, I want you to take the action step. Make some decisions. Based on the cash flow you need every month in your business for you, the tax aunties and uncles, and the business, what's the revenue goal for 2022? And how much cash flow do you need coming through your bank account every single month so you can take the stress off and not no matter what's happening out here, your checkbook can handle it. All right. And then I want to know how much of that money, that cash flow, you want to go in your pocket. If you are able to tell me those things, I can help you create a really cool roadmap in our free workshop. So that's my story. Stick into it. Mwah! Enjoy. Get this done by having some fun first. And I will be back tomorrow. Post questions down below. I will come back and see them. I will answer you live. If you have a question, let me know. And for just my viewing pleasure and understanding, let me know what your big takeaway was from this video.